So today's a great opportunity for us to bring all development offices from throughout the country. We've got uh, people here from Orkney, right way down to Annan. Uh, so over a hundred people here today from different uh, clubs and different communities. Um, we're launching the Blueprint, which is our revised Blueprint from 2016. And the Blueprint is our model for the game, about how we're going to improve the standard of the game, how we're going to get more players of quality coming through our pipeline and our pathway from both male and female perspectives. Uh, so today is about exploring some of the principles within the Blueprint, um, giving the development officers a first look and a, a chance to input into the, the future of it and, and create some resources. Uh, we've got input from John Fletcher today, our Head of Player Pathways and Elite Coach Development, as well as some of our game development team. So really good opportunity to engage with each other. We've not been together as a team because of COVID for over four years, so it's been nice to engage with them and we've got a lot of, a lot of input out of it. Yeah, so what we uh, have done recently, uh, both through Portland's performance and development, we've come together and we've taken what the blueprint was, which was a game model. So this is, a, this is how Scotland want to play. And we've sort of said, what else will be useful? What else will be helpful? What are the coaching skills we need? How do we need to design our activity? What's the most important stuff we want to go after? What's the learning environments uh, that we need? And we've added that to the blueprint. So we are now have a, lots of information, albeit lots of simple, uh, information hopefully it's going to give everybody direction real clarity and what we stand for and what we want to go after uh, and everybody appears to be really really excited about it I think I just feel you know an element of enthusiasm and excitement for for something new we, we, we had a previous incarnation of the blueprint and I think it's great to have that that clarity and, and direction across you know what is you know a wide you know landscape of, of activity um, yeah I think it's been a great day just for all of our kind of rugby development staff to come back together. It's been quite a few years since everybody's uh, been in the same room just with COVID and everything. But today, you know, we got the opportunity to take part in different sessions and obviously with the new blueprint um, that we're rolling out and with the kind of introduction of the Scott skills, um, I think it's really good because we're going to be able to challenge our players more, um, challenge our coaches to be, be to be better, um, but also like give people an opportunity to kind of grow their confidence and grow their skill sets. Uh, look, f for me it's just been great to share the work that we've been doing in the background with like a wider audience. So like we're sitting there chatting around what we think is going to be really, really good for the game, but now we've got an opportunity to now share that with really important people within the community game to bring it to life. So not only is it good for us to share some of the stuff that we've been doing, but to get feedback from the group on how we could potentially make it even better.